As most of you know, this channel is dedicated to the updates and histories of NBA jerseys throughout the years. I personally haven't posted anything about those jerseys since December of 2020, so I wouldn't be surprised if I don't get any views or comments on this video, but I have decided I wanted to make something to keep myself a little sane. What you're watching is just some 2K My Team clips of me doing a couple of the new challenges that came out, but ignore the actual footage because that's not what we're here to talk about. We can talk about my broken jumper any other time. I wanted to make this video to go over why it's been hard to keep updates for these videos and why I haven't really posted in two plus years. When Nike took over the NBA jersey sponsorship in 2017, I was really excited. I mean, for three years, I posted new updates and just given new information on those jerseys. But after 2020, I kinda gave up because of so many variations. Now that isn't what's wrong with NBA jerseys. But it definitely builds into my next point. So let's take the Knicks, New York Knicks for the last two years, their city jerseys. In 2021, the Knicks 75th anniversary season, they dropped a crazy video for this new black jersey, something the Knicks have never worn on the court before. It's a video of Kemba Walker, a New York legend who recently signed with the New York Knicks. It's narrated by Alan Houston, a Knicks legend back in like late 1990s, early 2000s. Altogether, a wonderful presentation and an awesome package to introduce a new jersey that probably got a lot of sales in 2022. From what we were told, these were created by Kith, a brand located in New York City, which have created them for the past few years up until this point. In 2023, the Knicks came out with two new jerseys, a new statement jersey, and another black jersey for their city jersey. The statement jersey is dark blue and the city jersey is another black jersey, this time with a gradient on the side instead of like a checkerboard pattern. No hype video, a couple official posts on NBA.com and probably a couple tweets that I'm not gonna go back to find, but really nothing else. All of the hype of them wearing the first black jersey in Knicks history in 2022 is just gone because they just re-upped with a gradient down the side in 2023. The amount of variations on the same thing for every team across the league makes it seem like the yearly structure was too much for the league and Nike to handle. And while some great jerseys have popped out due to it, like the jazz red and yellow jersey, nothing really stuck for anybody. The Heat came out with the same thing like eight times, which is awesome. I love the colors on this, but it just kills the hype. And it sucks for people who buy those jerseys or buy into the story for it just to be removed the next year or just redone in a different style. How can Nike fix it? That's really easy. Just stop producing a new one every year. Make it every five or so. That way, the jersey that does come out gets a lot of love and care done to it. And for example, if the Heat want to drop an entire line of alternate Vice City jerseys, let them. They could do a Vice month where they were to wear these jerseys for their home away and alternate for the entire month of January. Why January? Well, the Bacardi buildings, which is one of Miami's landmarks, and some say is the beginning to modern architecture of Miami, started construction in January of 1963. This could become the Vice Month, and they would continue to use the court and the logo for that month, and really just jumpstart the NBA season for the Miami Heat after the NFL season ends. This is literally all just spitballing and like Googling, less than 10 minutes of work on my side. But man, wouldn't it be great for the team to make it so January could become this like extravagant month for where they take casual fans to start caring about the team after the Dolphins season ends? Now, I know that Nike is probably making crazy amounts of money with this jersey stuff. They probably don't have to care about creating a new line every year because the jerseys that they create, were they'll sell and they were all probably created in a sketchbook in 2018 after they realized that people will buy a new one every year. But it takes out the fun. I'm all for one-off and rare jerseys, but when it becomes like a yearly thing where they, teams have a rare jersey, that removes the charm that they have. Anyway, what do you guys think? Am I wrong? And should Nike continue to have yearly jerseys that really don't have any significance once the year is over? Or would it be a lot better for them to have a, like a five year structure or so where teams can come out with a design that they will care about that will resonate with fans and have some staying power? 
like for example, the 76ers could come out with an amazing brotherly love jersey, not the one that they came out with this year or last year or whenever they came out with it. Uh, this is like I said, this is all just spitballing. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you have any questions or whatever, go ahead, leave a comment as well. Um, I'm thinking about starting a couple Jersey history videos again. Uh, we'll see. Um, like I said, the Nikes the past like six years have been kind of crazy and it's really hard to keep track of them. And for me to keep track of them, I'll have to like make it so like 2017 through 2023 is like its own section of a video. But regardless, let me know what you guys think. It's been great to talk and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.